We're spinning, but we're making it. Hey, welcome back to Ormond Simitals. It's Chris. It is Monday afternoon, uh, a little bit of a gloomy day, but it's above freezing, so that's good. Um, it's gonna be a busy evening. We gotta get our feeding done first. I'm gonna have to crawl up in the stupid bin, probably hopefully one last time, but then we need to sort heifers out because uh, I'm taking the day off tomorrow and Dad and I are gonna run to the sale barn and get those guys sold off. Okay, these two are keepers. That's the full blood I want. All right, so we got everybody sorted out. We got fresh stalks in here. We got two groups going on. Uh, these are a group of six of what are a little bit bigger of the whole 12 that we're taking tomorrow. And then the smaller ones are gonna be up front. It is Wednesday afternoon. Um, didn't really film anything yesterday. Yesterday we took those heifers to the sale barn. Um, it was a long, I guess you could say busy day, but uh, we honestly spent like five hours sitting on a uh, wooden bleacher bench uh, to not see our calves sell. Sale started at 11 and we left at 3.30 and they still didn't sell. It is Friday, technically morning, um, it's late morning. But uh, today's gonna be a little bit of a crazy day. Took a half day vacation because we're getting our corn done and Dad and I have to keep the semi loaded so we're just kind of getting things set up uh, where we want it so we brought our auger out here and we kind of use our soybean field as a staging area um, for loading the semi so the semi is gonna park right up there on the edge of the road leave enough space so people can get by that kind of thing but then we'll bring our wagons onto here up through the auger into the semi well corn harvest is a go um the guys are up there and they're got the combine going they're just starting the outside laps and we've uh, got our first gravity box over here so we've got everything set up uh their semi is set up uh we got the auger we got our catch pan um we're gonna run our auger's pto driven so we're gonna run it with the mahindra and then we've also got the 29 down here just in case we need it
So one issue we are running into is this hill. Uh, with the, the weather being so warm, it's now starting to thaw out and turn to slop and we're just spinning. So we gotta come way off to the side here now and lighten the loads and stuff like that. So we will see how it goes. We still, we're probably a little, with what's probably up there right now, we're probably under half done combined, but not half uh, unloaded yet. So we, we'll get her done. If we gotta do lighter loads, we'll do lighter loads. So one thing we've never done yet with the 44 is use the diff lock. And honestly, we were like, um, where the heck's the diff lock? Well, there's a pedal right in the middle, but we thought it was for something else. So I looked it up quick and, well, sure enough, it's the diff lock. So I think that helped. We took a little bit wider path um, off to the side. We're just gonna have to keep bobbing and weaving uh, to get up that hill with a little bit lighter loads but i'm a little windy because there was a bunch of sticks like big sticks that were in our way so i was tossing those aside dad's having a great time you can see it in his eyes Hopefully we make it. We're spinning, but we're making it. But it really dries out right up, right up there on the top. You know, it's almost amazing what happens when you find the diff lock lever. Combine's done. We got three gravity boxes left on load. All right, we just got done uh, feeding cows, uh, kind of ripped through it pretty quickly. But uh, harvest is done, 100% complete. Yes, complete. Um, got that cornfield combine. Um, the guys that do it uh, as a family uh, that lives just a few miles from here, the Zernike family, Zernike Farms. Um, and they've been really good, for, really good to us over the years uh, doing our combine, they do a really nice job. Um, so, you know, big thanks to them for coming out and doing it. We still were taking in like, uh, like 20, 22% corn. Um, I don't know, we thought we had it in, in a decent amount of time and we thought we had the right days and the right variety, but apparently not, don't know. Um, but we'll have to look at all that stuff and, and see what happened. We know we have to try and get our corn in a little bit sooner, but 
honestly, even if we would have had it in a week earlier, you know, I mean, granted, it might have had, you know, three or four more percent less moisture, but it is what it is need to get done. Um, but yeah, but that is done and tomorrow we'll clean up the auger and uh, put all the gravity boxes away and all that stuff. Um, they'll haul, I think we had just a little over, a little over two semis full of 16 acres. Um, the third semi just has like, it's a little under half of it, uh, has corn in it and they'll come tonight and they'll pick it up and, uh, but they won't haul it into the mill until uh, Monday because the guy that the guy that's there is gonna take the weekend off because he's been working for three months straight. So understood. <laughs> it's not a big deal for us anyway. It's not. It's not crucial that it goes in. So, but we'll call this the end of the day. It's Friday, end of the week. Hope you liked the video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for coming along.